y'all and welcome to our weekend. It is Saturday and it's already a little after lunchtime. Audrey and I went this morning and got our fingernails done and just spent some time together and we're back home. We actually went by Lowe's and got some things that we needed because one, we're going to be working on our meat chicken tractor very soon. I don't know exactly when we're going to start on that, but it has to be soon. And then also we are doing some things to one of our small coops, just modifying it a little bit, getting it up off the ground and getting them some sand down in their run. So that's what we're going to be working on today. And I thought, you know what, let's just make it a weekend vlog and we'll bring you along for our weekend. In case you're new, I'm Tiffany and this is our small town life. And here on this channel, we share homemaking and homesteading content and show what our day-to-day -day life looks like living in a small town in the southern United States. If that sounds interesting to you, we sure would love to have you subscribe and join us. A new day, new overalls. I planted some peppermint, rosemary, and dill in this bed right here. I haven't decided if I'm going to um, put flowers or some more herbs in these. Maybe we'll just make this all herbs. That way it's right off the back porch and right out of the kitchen. Got the little chicks all situated. This is our pen. Uh, they're in between when they've come from inside before they can go into the big coop. And the last one of these that we had, this is our Avatuvan coop. And I love, love, love it. But the last one we had where it sat in water caused some problems with the wood. So we got these pavers and put it up on that. And then now we filled it with some sand so I can come in and scoop it and keep it clean for them. They just got fed. They're all over there eating as happy as can be. Comes Hershey. What you doing, Hershey? Oh, we're going back in. That's another project. Pro what? <laughs> That's another project checked off the list. <laughs> Justin's like this list keeps growing. It's my girl up there looking at seeds, deciding what she wants to plant. She's gonna make her own little space. She's deciding what she wants to use. He's helping his sister out. Getting ready for more projects. <laughs> he loves me so much. <laughs> <laughs> that they would notice it like that but I mean I guess the chickens were just going crazy I mean making all kinds of racket we couldn't figure out why and then we saw a hawk like they spotted it they knew <laughs> they knew that it was there Justin got my posts in the ground and I've got to get my net so that we can string up our sweet peas snap peas
start training these snap peas to climb up it that's what we were doing just kind of putting them on it helping them start to grab onto it and teaching them that that's where they're supposed to go kids worked together today to get the trampoline put back together and uh, they're enjoying that we got it from the uh, from Justin's mom's house it was put up there I don't know if y'all remember that when we lived there the storm got it so we got all the pieces and they put it back together today Justin is getting started here on the steps for our front porch. Our front porch is pretty much finished now. Stay tuned and at the end of this video or towards the end of this video, you'll get to see what all has been done. Justin has worked really hard on it and he's done a really good job. But here he's getting started on the steps. We have a garden tour soon. It's going to talk about all these things. But I thought I would show you just a little sneak peek. And you know what? This first garden tour, I'm so excited about it because I love to go back and watch those and see how much everything changes over time. But let me show you a few things we've got going on. Just, just real quick, just a little sneak peek. There's some berry bushes planted out here, blackberries, blueberries, a couple of fig trees that we planted. And then this right here, these pallets are going to become our little strawberry bed. We're going to get them filled and the strawberries planted in those. The trees are doing well, and we're going to add to them this year. The peach, like when you walk by it, you can smell it. Let's go up here. Wish we had smell-o-vision. Alder said they can't smell it, but I can. Oh, look. Looky there. I'm going to walk over here, and I'll show you the melon patch. We went ahead and flagged all of the plants or all the seeds so we would know where to look for them coming up. We planted some wildflowers back along the back and some, some sunflowers. We also got a few sweet potato plants back here too. But this will hopefully be full of cantaloupes and watermelons. Those flags are so we know where to look for our seeds coming up. We look for the melon plants coming up. Yeah. Like I was saying though, we're going to do a, or I'm going to do a full garden tour video here soon. That way y'all can get a look at all the spaces that we have planted and kind of talk through the plans with me. And then, before long, we'll be able to go back and watch that video and see how much everything changes so fast. For tonight we're gonna grill some drumsticks some chicken some chicken on the grill and I haven't I haven't fully decided what we're gonna have to go with it I guess I need to be making up my mind what do you want to go with it 
What do you want to go with the chicken? Mashed potatoes. I would need to have those going. What about baked potatoes? I could put those in the microwave and have them done in time. A baked potato. Y'all, it's the end of the day. I'll show you what we have for dinner. And that'll be all for today. But we're going to carry this on through the weekend. So don't go anywhere. that you need it is that flesh that still wants to hold on it's the flesh that doesn't want you to let go because this flesh is of the world and it knows just like this world it is not going to last you see that's why Paul said I have to die to myself daily I have to kill off this old man every single day that I wake up I've got to put him in a closet. I've got to never go visit him. I've got to kill. I can't feed it. I can't water it. I've got to let it die like a weed in the yard. Otherwise, it's just going to keep popping its head back up. When we think we're done with it, boop, there comes that thought back in our mind. Why? Because we didn't stomp it out to begin with. Because we can't let go. Because we think we've got to hold on to this world because Jesus can't give us what we need. Jesus is all we need. And Jesus has given us everything that we already need. You think, well, I don't, Jesus ain't ever given me a, a big house or a big promotion or, or a lot of money. Well, maybe you don't need it. He didn't say he was going to give you everything you wanted. Jesus said, I will give you every, I will supply your need. Not get to heaven being good enough. And that hurts people's feelings. Well, I, I think I can give enough money to get to, no, you can't. No, you can have Jesus. And, and Jesus is the way, he is the doorway. And you understand what a door does? A doorway lets people in and a doorway keeps people out. And if you don't know Jesus as your Lord and Savior, you will be kept out. Happy Sunday, y'all. We had a good church service. And now we're at the store because I need to get some extra stew meat. I want stew meat and rice for dinner tonight, but a little extra. Contemplating if we want to make a dessert today. Salted caramel brownies for the win. So, y'all... I started opening up that meat to put it in the crock pot and I dumped the first I had gotten a couple packs and if you saw my grocery haul this week I had gotten a pack from Kroger I opened it up first and I dumped it in all was well and then I opened I had gotten two small packs from this other grocery store today and I opened up the first one dumped it in and I thought bless you bless you I thought, mm, do I smell something? No, no, I don't. It's just me. I'm just some. Opened up the next pack, dumped it in, and the bottom side of it was so nasty, and it smelled awful. And it was still like five days from the sell-by date. So all of that meat. All of that meat, because it had all mixed together, it all touched each other. It's no good. It's wasted. I say wasted. The chickens are going to get some of it. The compost pile is going to get the rest. So, it's not wasted. But it was supposed to be food for our family. So, Justin was like, let me just go to this other store and get you some because I know that's what you were wanting to fix. So he went to get me some more. Play it. He'll get it for you. Come back up here, okay? Brother's getting it. Tell him thank you. I also asked Justin if he would sit down with me today and film the Q&A that we've been meaning to do. And he said that he would be happy to do that. So we're going to sit down at some point today and film... Q&A, some questions that you all had. So that'll probably be the next video that comes out for you. He got it for you, buddy. Come here. He's wanting to play on this little basketball goal that used to be part of the trampoline. 
try to set it up somewhere for him. Yay! He went for meat. I think he has a few extra things. I got meat. He went for at least. I got meat. Thank you. I got cheese. <laughs> Put the cheese on. Ah, uh, you've been liking those lately. Yeah, I gotta wash my hands. This. This is, <laughs> this is fudge rounds, is what this is. Made out of meat. Got meat in it. <laughs> That's not. Hey, look, there's meat. <laughs> Some chocolate Fairlife milk. What is this? I don't know. Caribbean sunset. <laughs> Impulse by. That looks more than just something. <laughs> Y'all, this man of mine, he is so sweet and thoughtful. He went to this other store, so not only did he say, hey, let me go to this other store and see if I can find you some stew meat. When he got there and they didn't have it, he got a roast that he could cut up for me <laughs> to make my stew meat so incredibly thoughtful and took the time to help me out and I appreciate him so much and then I was feeding the baby so he took the time to put everything in the crock pot for me I had taken some inspiration from Shasta over at Abiding Farmhouse for this particular recipe. I saw her some, do something similar and it was a pack of brown gravy mix and I mixed that with about a cup of water and then two cans of cream of mushroom soup. We started this later in the day so we went ahead and put it on high and cooked it on high for about two to three hours. Ooh, that smells good. Smells real good. good. I'm ready. Good job. Huddy said, video me doing a front flip. You happy to have the trampoline back over here? Yeah. Working on another coop, huh? We keep you busy all the time with these chickens. Me? <laughs> Not really that bad. <laughs> we would have to peep it out. Today. But look, y'all done this in what? Like hour and a half? Two, two hours? This is the work part about it. The zip ties? If somebody could come up with a better idea yep. than zip ties. Hey, yeah, the, the thing's popping in the holes is great. Oh, yeah. See how these gather? Yep. <laughs> This is the worst part about it. Is it tight? Yeah. Y'all are about to get a new home. Get some water. There you go. <laughs> Just spotted some honeysuckle out here growing around this tree.
we have a front porch y'all we do still have to do I think we're gonna do cables right here uh you know as part of the railing and stuff on the sides but everything else is done i'm excited to have it done um you know some people might say well why are you just now getting a front porch you've been there over a year but when you're moving to raw land new home there's so many of these kind of things to be done we have to prioritize especially if you're like us and you're you know we're paying for everything as we go and so we have to save up the money for it and prioritize you know we did our back porch because we knew we would use it more worked on a driveway you know, put water you know had to put water lines and electricity and stuff in to be able to live here all of these things that had to be done and this was one of those things that you know could wait because we don't use this door a lot but we knew we wanted a porch here and now it's done justin worked really hard and did a really good job on it it's that time of day where um it's time to finish up dinner and i'm gonna do that justin i think is gonna work a little bit in the garden while i'm finishing up dinner it smells really really good in here and turn it down because it's bubbling and we're gonna have dinner and then chill for the rest of the afternoon which will feel nice if you you know when you've been doing and getting things done and then to sit down and rest at the end of the day feels really good i did a lot of observing today just is going to enjoy rest after working a lot today this is going to be so good over some rice i think i may put like a little um, cornstarch slurry to put in here and thicken up the gravy. There we go. Now our gravy can thicken up. I've just put, I didn't have any cornstarch, so I took some of this liquid out and mixed a little flour in with it and then put it back in. Thank y'all for hanging out with us and spending the weekend with us. I hope you enjoyed it and enjoyed getting to see a little peek into what our weekend looked like here in our little small town on our little small homestead. If you've not already subscribed, we would love to have you subscribe and join us. We love you. We appreciate you. We'll see you in the next one. Bye, y'all.